This is a coal-fired power plant. This is a forest being cut down. And this is a cow. All these things have one aspect in common. They release greenhouse gases. The more greenhouse gases there are, the warmer the earth gets. Global warming, yes it's real, has been a growing concern for many years as it can lead to a cascade of devastating changes like rising sea levels, extreme weather events, even famines and droughts. Over the summer, a heat wave struck southern Europe, bringing record-breaking temperatures with some areas experiencing over 48 degrees Celsius. As global warming continues, extreme weather events such as this will only become more common. This puts people's homes and livelihoods at risk, and thus will have a serious impact on the global economy. Now, first of all, how does extreme heat affect global economic growth? According to researchers at Dartmouth College, heat waves have cost the global economy over $16 trillion since the 1990s. Higher temperatures make it harder to work. Consequently, workers experience a drop in productivity and many businesses are forced to shorten their opening hours. A fall in productivity could mean higher average costs for firms, therefore lowering their profits. This could lead to lower investment and economic growth as firms are more hesitant about expansion. For workers paid by the hour, lower working hours may also squeeze average incomes leading to lower material living standards and less consumption, slowing down economic growth. Extreme temperatures are projected to cause the loss of 2 billion labour hours each year by 2090, resulting in $160 billion in lost wages. Outdoor jobs in sectors such as construction and agriculture are at particular risk of heat exposure, which can cause health issues and even death. Between 1992 to 2016, 285 construction workers in the USA died due to heat-related causes. Global warming also causes sea levels to rise and brings more frequent natural weather events such as floods and storms. This could have a severe impact on infrastructure, especially near coastal areas. Poorer quality infrastructure could lead to delays and congestion as well as deter potential investment, leading to less economic growth. Moreover, rising sea levels could lead to governments investing vast sums of money in coastal protection schemes which can be hugely expensive. This can increase the budget deficit and run the risk of austerity measures in the future. In countries where the government cannot afford large-scale coastal protection projects, there may be mass migration into more inland areas. A higher population could lead to increased demand for public services such as healthcare, making them more inaccessible. This may lower living standards and may exacerbate inequalities. Excessive migration can also cause local tensions and conflicts with pre-existing populations. So, what sectors are the most vulnerable to global warming? Agriculture is extremely susceptible to changing climate conditions. Abnormal numbers of extreme weather events can lower crop yields and kill livestock. Research by the Arts Rock Foundation found corn farmers are losing about $720 million in revenue annually due to extreme heat. Corn farming provides almost 185,000 jobs in the USA. It is also the most widely farmed crop and the second most popular vegetable in the USA. Many commodity crops such as rice and wheat do not grow above certain temperatures, meaning farmers will have to switch to producing other crops. This can be hard for subsistence farmers in developing nations who typically rely on one type of crop for their income. Many may be forced to abandon their work and move into cities for a more stable income. Uncontrolled rural to urban migration may lead to overcrowding and the development of shanty towns in major cities. Global warming will also hit water supplies, thus making irrigation more difficult, further decreasing crop yield. As such, a lower food supply will lead to cost push inflation for consumers. Higher prices erode consumer purchasing power, leading to less consumption and lower material living standards. The construction industry also faces risks from global warming. Not only do higher temperatures lower productivity and lengthen the time span of construction, but they also affect vital materials such as concrete and steel. High heat can soften steel and cause cracks in concrete, decreasing their lifespans. As such, buildings will require more maintenance and higher quality materials, adding to costs and eating away at profits. Moreover, higher demand for materials can also increase its price, further adding to costs. Winter tourism can be badly affected as global warming causes severe snowmelt in many mountainous regions. Rapid warming in the Adirondack Mountains, USA could decimate its winter activities sector, which accounts for 30% of the local economy. Currently, the Adirondacks bring in about 12.4 million visitors annually. 
In 2018, tourists spent around $1.5 billion in the local economy. The loss of tourism may lead to severe unemployment as well as a huge loss of government tax revenues, which has a knock-on effect on public service provision. Global warming poses a risk to global supply chains and business operations by creating huge losses. In 2018, the Carbon Disclosure Project asked more than 7,000 companies to examine their financial costs of climate change. The report found that unless they took preemptive measures, 215 of the world's 500 biggest companies could lose an estimated $1 trillion due to climate change. For example, higher temperatures mean that Alphabet may have to deal with rising cooling costs for its data centers. Western Digital, which is the world's second largest manufacturer of hard drives, produces up to 60% of their hard drives in Thailand. In 2011, the seasonal monsoon came early, bringing record-breaking rainfall and severe flooding disrupting production in WD's factories. In total, the flooding cost WD $199 million. How might the global economy adapt to and mitigate the effects of global warming? If all climate pledges made during various climate summits such as COP27 were to be met, the world would still be on track to see a global temperature rise of between 2.4 degrees Celsius to 2.6 degrees Celsius. However, climate scientists have warned that any rise in global temperatures passing 1.5 degrees Celsius will cause irreversible and devastating consequences to the planet. A key part of mitigating global warming would be a reduction in the use of fossil fuels and stopping the destruction of carbon sinks such as rainforests. This would be problematic for many nations as their economies rely heavily on fossil fuels for development. And the clearing of carbon sinks provides many economic opportunities such as agriculture, mining and logging. As such, many developing countries have asked for financial assistance from developed nations to help their transition into renewable energy sources and protect their natural carbon sinks. Back in 2009, $100 billion a year by 2020 was promised to developing nations, but that pledge was never delivered. In addition, some of the biggest consumers of fossil fuels, including China, India and Russia, have refused to make any stringent pledge to combat global warming. Thus, it is likely many of the more recent climate pledges will also be missed. Many nations are now focused on adapting to living in a warmer climate. Greece appointed its first chief heat officer in 2021, who is responsible for preparing the country for heat waves and reducing its risks to human health, while Spain said earlier this year it would ban outdoor work during periods of extreme heat. Some firms are introducing measures such as using misting and more air conditioning on employees to keep them cool. Others are switching working hours, trying to do more at night or during the early hours of the morning to avoid the hottest periods of the day. But these measures may be met with objections from local governments and residents as it clashes with their work-life balance. Furthermore, some cities are investing in cost-effective solutions such as cool roofs that are painted white to reflect heat or adding shade using canopies on buildings or increased tree cover. Adaptation is also expected to be high on the agenda for COP28 and subsequent climate change conferences. Although global warming is one of the toughest challenges ever faced by society, it may present a number of opportunities for various people. The Carbon Disclosure Project also reported that 225 of the world's 500 biggest companies believe global warming could generate over $2.1 trillion in new business opportunities. Increasing environmental awareness has also brought demand for the green energy sector and electric vehicles. In August 2022, the US Congress passed the Inflation Reduction Act, providing $369 billion in funding in the form of subsidies, tax breaks, as well as loans to firms investing in cleaner energy sources. This is projected to create many manufacturing jobs and lower the cost of energy in the long run. As the Arctic sea ice melts, New shipping lines will open for trade by substantially cutting transport times and costs to previously isolated regions of the world. The warming Arctic could also offer more prospects for oil and gas drilling. Weather satellites and radar technology will be in demand to monitor extreme weather. Air conditioning and cooling products will be needed around the world. This can lead to more demand for manufacturing. Furthermore, biotech companies are developing new GM crops that are resistant to the impacts of global warming. Many pharmaceutical companies expect increased demand for drugs to combat the spread of diseases such as malaria due to increased temperatures. As we can see, global warming is not just an environmental issue, it's also an economic issue too.
Its impacts are far-reaching and has the potential to upend society as we know it. Despite this, most economists are well aware that many people may not invest any effort into protecting our planet until it starts to affect them. Politicians will not get serious until it becomes an election issue and businesses will stay idle until they see a profitable business opportunity. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to leave a thumbs up and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking content. As always, we appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay curious.